All right. Uh, I've been seeing on Twitter, or at least I saw exactly one person on Twitter say that they were having problems with the steering in this game, that it was all weird. Uh, I had that problem too when I first launched it, but I found that with one slider it was very easy to fix the problem. So I'm going to show you now how to fix that. So first we're going to go to options. And now I should mention that this problem was with the use of a steering wheel controller. Uh, this is the only way I play the NASCAR Heat games, so of course, you know, I immediately had this problem. If you had, if you use a regular controller, maybe it's different. It may also be different if you have the game updated. I have not updated my game yet. But anyways, so we need to go to player one controls and you'll see all these sliders here. The one you want to go to is steering sensitivity. Now let me check one, two. Okay, it's two from the end. Now. This, in the middle, is the default steering sensitivity. And you press the option button to test sensitivity, you'll see these sliders here. I press the gas pedal in, it shows the gas pedal moving. And it looks like I need to reset the sensitivity on that, because that's weird. Brake pedal. Nah, it just seems like it needs to calibrate on the pedals. The pedals are fine again now. But the steering, I've reset, and you'll notice, very slow at first, and then it jerks to the side. Again, very slow towards the center, and then it jerks off towards the side. Now, I'm going to show you again, and look at how much I'm moving the steering wheel. It's constant. I'm not speeding up or slowing down my movement of the steering wheel at all. But yet the game has some stank to it that's causing the game to not recognize my input properly. So, what we want to do about this is we just want to go down to... If I can get it all focused right here, there we go. Go to under player one controls. Go to sensitivity. Scroll down to steering sensitivity right here and scroll it over to the right until it's one, two clicks away from the right. And then we go to test sensitivity again. Zoom it back out. Focus again. There we go. And now you'll notice it's linear. I rotate at a continuous speed and the slider moves at a continuous speed. Again, I'll show you the wheel again. Moving it at a constant speed. And so is the dot on the screen. And there you go. Just by fixing that one slider you should have a much better time using your steering wheel. Because I know when I first fired the game up, I went straight to Daytona with the trucks to do a test race to see how the game was. And, you know, on the, the asphalt tracks. Because that's way different from the dirt tracks. Uh, and the steering was all stanky. There was like a dead zone going on. And, I, you know, it was tough to control. But then I went and I fixed that one slider. And it works perfectly now. So if you're having that problem... That's all you gotta do right there. Alright, well, see you, uh, never, I guess. <laughs> uh, un un unless there's more uh, issues people have with the game that I need to help people with, but otherwise, that'll be it. See ya.